Man, oh man, oh man. Where do I even start with this? So as most of you know, alt-right butt monkey Milo Yiannopoulos went on Bill Maher's real time. And kinda got an ass whooping. If you watch the whole thing, it's very obvious that basically what has happened is that Milo has finally gotten in a room with a group of people who are just are not going to take his shit. There was Bill Maher, there was Larry Wilmore, there was Representative uh, Jack Kingston of the Republican Party, and then there was Malcolm Nance, who was part of multiple U.S. counterterrorism efforts. And they just raked Milo over the goddamn coals, in my opinion. Holy shit, they were not having it got so bad that not even the fucking Republican could properly defend Milo. Like, he was just on his own, fucking just getting reamed. You can go fuck yourself, all right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the worst people on the very far left and the very, very far right all hate me. They all hate me. Okay. I think but, you're leaving out a lot of people. But you're welcome here. <laughs> Should Somebody who pandas to gays while taking money from Saudi Arabia, I'll take Trump any fucking day. Wait, you'll take Russian <laughs> spies over Saudis? Okay, thanks. Actually, actually, yeah. <laughs> I probably would. Are you American? No, no he's not oh, American. Fuck off. <laughs> and then if that wasn't good enough, Milo then went on the Drunken Peasants podcast and fucking... Holy shit! You're misunderstanding what pedophilia means. Um, pedophilia is not a sexual attraction to somebody 13 years old who is sexually mature. What?! In, in, in a homosexual world, particularly. Some of those relationships between younger boys and older men, the sort of coming of age relationships, the relationships in which those older men ha help those young boys to discover who they are and give them security and safety. It you know sounds what? like I'm Catholic priest molestation to me. And in the wake of this fucking insanity, his book deal got fucking canceled, his fucking speaking engagements got canceled, and he started to go down in flames. <laughs> And I saw some people going like, oh, the hatred and bigotry and all that stuff isn't too far, but you draw the line of pedophilia. Yes! Yes! That is not a bad line to draw, man. <laughs> and there are a lot of people asking questions about like, well, how is this any different than the thing George Takei said? Were you molested in a sense because no, you were 13? because no, I was kind of... Uh... Well, you know, I thought he was pretty attractive. There, there's actually a couple reasons it's different. George Takei is just talking about him himself and what he experienced. He's not talking about the homosexual community at large. He's not criticizing statutory rape laws. But Milo is. This arbitrary and oppressive idea of consent, which totally destroys, you know, um, the you know, understanding that many of us have of the complexities and subtleties and complicated nature. That's why it's different. George Takei is just talking about what happened to him. Milo is criticizing public policy. And this is absolutely why I kept saying, no, let the man speak. I'm not saying let the man speak because he has a point. I'm saying let the man speak because this idiot is gonna incriminate himself so badly that we will all see what the fuck he is. Oh my god. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. What, what is, where does this come from? Bottissimo, bottissimo. I don't even know if that's a real word. I, I just fucking said it because it, it sounded Italian. I, I don't even know where Italian came from. I just. So there are a ton of articles written about this. And one of the things that actually kind of pissed me off about each and every one of these articles is they never mention the drunken peasants and they never mention uh tj the amazing atheist like never they never never mention him which i was really fucking aghast at because i'm like they're just like oh yeah on some podcast on some podcast why wouldn't you specify which podcast it was so that people could go there you know, why wouldn't you point out the people who are on the podcast, whose podcast it is? Why wouldn't you talk about those? I mean, that's stuff people might want to know about. And the fact that they didn't mention any of those details, uh, to, to even just tell you who it was, like, really, to me, was 
an affront. It's the continuation of the thing that I was mentioning in a previous video. There's a lot of old versus new media shit going on. Even here. They're popular enough to have reach so that something like this can happen, but they're not so popular that you have to mention them. But I thought it was kind of gross that they didn't. But you know what? I gotta be honest. I have to agree with all these clickbait sites. You know what? They were absolutely right about one thing. We're missing the real villain here. The real villain. The real bad guy. And that is... Bill Mahar! He's the real bad guy! Oh my god! He gave Milo a platform! He let him... He let him speak so he could fucking destroy him! How dare he! He's the real... Are you fucking retarded? You may not like Bill Mahar, I barely like him, but you gotta appreciate the fact that he did not let Milo get away with that shit. Bill Mahar wasn't his friend. How do you people not get this? Oh, well, we shouldn't have given him a platform anyway. Freedom of speech, bitch! And I've said before, in a country where there's freedom of speech, you are entitled to a platform, even for your awful shit. Because it's by confronting these people in the battlefield of ideas that we learn how to defeat truly awful ideas. Whereas if you don't, and you just retreat to a safe space, you never fucking confront the motherfucker, and he's allowed to run amok. So I don't know what else to say, like, before all these articles denouncing Bill Mahar for having him on the show came out, I was willing to say that Milo Yiannopoulos was fucking dead, but we might have just snatched defeat out of the jaws of victory. By going against Bill Mahar, we might have actually re-empowered Milo. And if it proves that that's actually what happened, you know what? Y'all just go fuck yourselves.